Hello, we are from Marketing Assignment Group 1. My name is Kavita. To start off this presentation, I am going to give out the synopsis of the movie called Second Act. A 40-year-old Maya knows it all too well. She was growing up as an orphan in the New York City. Maya knew what it was to be work hard. But lately, that hard work hasn't been paying off as Maya has been preparing for a big meeting in one which she hopes to be promoted as a manager at the local value shop, a grocery store she has been faithfully improving for 15 years. There's only one problem, she doesn't have a college degree. So when she's overlooked for a promotion by some newbie, a Harvard graduate, Maya loses hope. It doesn't matter how much her boyfriend Trey encourages her or how much her best friend Joanne tells her it's all going to be alright, she just can't take it anymore. But the next day something strange happens as Maya goes and interview with Franklin and Clark as the big guys who owns the value shop brand. And they are impressed with her, except it's not the real her. Her godson actually created a fake social media profile and Huh, a fake resume to help Maya out. It's really pre pretty impressive stuff too. It shows that Maya graduated from an Ivy League school, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro and even rubbing elbows with Obamas. It's a background that no one could say no to. And just like that, she's in. Now Maya will have to decide what's more important to her, keeping up her appearance or being herself no matter what the consequences are, might be. For the second part, what the movie meant to you, what did the movie taught you, inform you of, or impression it made on you? Well, the movie have taught me being an independent and strong woman like the lead actor Maya. She have gone through many challenges by losing her parents, getting pregnant at 16, and being homeless. But she didn't abort a baby. But thought of giving her child for adoption and thinking that her daughter is worth to have a healthy life. Maya was always surrounded by her loving friends who wants the best for her. Even Maya's boyfriend Trey always encourages her. Throughout the movie, it was constantly reminded us not to look back and regret. But we should look forward in life and with full of hope because our mistakes doesn't limit us but our fears does. Other characters in the movie also taught us about sacrifices, being thoughtful and compassionate of what we are doing. Thank you, that's all for my part. Hello everybody, I'm Aruna from Group 1 Marketing Management Assignment. So here I am to present about my part in the assignment that is how I feel the video is deleted from any relevant chapter of the course text. Okay, the relevant chapters that are related to this movie is the distribution channel strategy. In where this chapter basically explaining the marketing channel system is a particular set of interdependent organizations involved in the process of making a product or service available for use or consumption. It is clearly stated that the Franklin and Clark company is going good with their other products such as their shampoo and their shaving gel but not with their skincare products as Maya said so that their avocado cocoa oil isn't really organic so that that would be the reason of the product to stay behind. So currently this company is going to appoint Maya as, um, as their product development consultant to produce a product which is going uh, to be available for use or consumption in the market. Other than that, this movie also well explained about the main concept of the marketing is that Maya tried to understand the marketplace and customer needs where the company should produce more organic product to attract more customers. Maya is ensuring that for the marketers she had to put the expectation right so that the products value don't go down and for the customers but in case of products she's ensuring that the organic product that she's going to produce match the customer value and satisfaction. Therefore, chapter sustainable marketing, social responsibility and ethics are related to the movie. 
sustainable marketing explain where it gives uh, impact to the individual customer whole society and other businesses however in this movie the marketing is only affecting the individual customers as we can see during the interview session between the anderson club maya and zoo at the franklin and clark company maya stated that their skincare line avocado cocoa is little left behind compared to their other products the avocado cocoa is left behind because they could only sell 1353 units which is about 70% under the normal range so the reason is because their product isn't really organic for support so after maya accepted her job as a product development consultant in the company she is ordered to produce a new skincare product but at now for the competition there is zu the vice president of the company should replace the product later so later on maya is asked to explain the reason the company tried to convince customers that neutralize was the new hair growth product and basically it is a repackaged shampoo but in the end the customer felt something wrong that they were saying that the shampoo is all about natural but at the back of the shampoo bottle it contains a lot of chemical list So in the meantime the scientists and Maya tried all the methods to produce 100% organic and good well and preserved. It is called product creation and testing since advertisers need to find a successful idea that the customer thinks they would give a try. So marketing is another method of developing strategy that marketers want to find a cost effective and valuable a uh, marketing approach for example hilde suggested tangerine because the data shows a 37% increase in sales on any cream with a featured citrus component so but it comes with a price so ariana explained that to make all three products entirely green from the tangerine extract it will cost more than 30% that the zoos and rons line So uh that's all from me and thank you. Hello my name is Jivan Tiran I will like to talk about the theories in the movie Second X. The theories that we have learned from the movies is marketing makes four P's. First of all it's the product. It's either can be tangible good or an intangible service that seems to meet a specific customer needs and wants. In this movie Maya as a product development officer she is trying to make a product which is the ginkgo cream originally 100% organic from the ginkgo tree to attract the customers to the Franklin and Clark company Next is about the price price covers the actual amount the end users is expected to pay for a product In the movie Maya is supposed to create a product which give them a high profitable than those product. So she is trying her best to give the best product with best price to the customers. The third is the promotion. The marketing communication strategies and techniques all fall under the promotion heading. This may include advertising, sales promotion, special offers and public relation. This movie explain that promotion can be done through direct marketing by giving product explanation to the public. The last is the place. The place or placement has to do with how the product will be provided to the customers. Maya had produced the product in the Franklin and Clark company which the company is well known for their products such as their hair shampoo and shaving gels. So Maya's decision to sell her products in the famous outlet would be a great idea for her project. That's all. Thank you. Hi madam, let me introduce myself first. My name is Kavishna Dorar of Saratana. I want to explain about the lesson that I think an individual or an organization can learn from this movie. First of all, what can an organization can learn lesson from this movie is honest Honesty is one of the best policy ever. Being honest is can improve ourselves. Other than that, the lesson that I think an individual can learn from this movie is supporting your competition and family is everything in our life. Supporting your competition is bringing more benefit into everyone. 
Finally, the lesson that I think an individual or an organization can learn from this movie is chase your passion, go after those dreams and we can do it. Secondly, I want to explain about the information that I took personally away from this movie is never ever give up in our life, stay positive, we are the creator of the destiny. Thank you. Hello madam, my name is Yugni Sari and today I'm going to talk about the movie which is second act. Will I recommend this movie to anyone? Yes, for sure I will recommend this movie to anyone because it is such an inspirational and predictable storyline movie. From this movie, this, we can also see that there is an independent woman who is struggled with the unfulfilled dreams in the entire movie and we can also see the friendship bonds between them. Their friends are very supportive and be with her in no matter what situation it is. They are very supportive for her and in the end, even now, remembering few moments from the movie, I really smiled. It is such an inspirational movie and it's worth watching. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Fadag Ali. I'm going to present the conclusion. In conclusion, what I try to say is, the movie is so good and you have learned a lot from it we learned how the competition between the employees are good for the company because it gave us good distinctive results and more profit and that's what we're looking for a marketing board the company must encourage the employees and motivate them and they must treat all employees in the same level and give the promotion to who deserve not who has just degree pursuing your dreams comes along with many benefits everyone in this life should keep fighting for his dream don't let anyone put you down and there is many reason to fight for your dreams the most important reason to fight your dreams your failure you have to face your failure and overcome it success is often just around the corner if you only know how you were close from your dream you will never give up and if you fail you have to stand and fight again